out on uh, with no instruction, just sitting here all day, having to clean the range off. I've got to hit this seven iron 150 yards every day to pick up the range. That's my job. Okay, that's all I'm doing. Don't know anything about golf, but I've got to hit them somewhere in a in, in a target out there that's within 30 yards, not too narrow. But I got to hit 150 yards. Okay, this person ends up, I guarantee you, doing that with not one piece of information about golf, if he gets his hands on it. And I think eventually he'd figure that out too, because he'd, he'd figure out this is making it going over there and nowhere. He would figure out, with a little common sense, that this is making it go a long ways square. He'd figure it out. So the people, they don't like to hear that. They said, what about the turn? They said, what about the turn? Okay, here's the turn. If I'm having to hit the ball with the 7 iron 200 yards, maximize my power like a club throwing contest, I instinctively build up my backswing for power, okay? Obvious. I'm gonna hit this 7 iron 200 yards like this? No, like this? Maybe. So now because of the power, the size, I increase my width and my turn because what I'm trying to do, max power should create max body motion. It's like throwing or hitting anything. But that has to be tied on to the fact that you really are confident that you can take the club with that motion and still get the face in the back of the ball. So if you can't get the face to the back of the ball and you're not thinking about that first and then you start getting bigger and more powerful, that automatically makes your body start to move big. I'm all for that. Remember, if it sounds complicated.